We also love the Italian Club of Staten yes, Island. Yes, we do. The Italian Club of Staten Island offers events and activities for the entire Italian community in our borough. Joining us now to tell us more is their president, Michael Anacito. Thank you so much for coming on today, Mike. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Monica and Nikki. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's our pleasure. We're really glad you're here. You know, we love to talk about our Italian friends and our Italian community. What does the club actually do specifically for the Italian-American community? Our club's been around for 73 years. So the club started in 1950 by a group of eight Italian individuals. And from the onset, it was just a nonprofit. So we're a registered 501c3. We have two main uh, drives. We do a food drive every year that we just wrapped up in December where we gave away 180 baskets of food to charitable organizations, needy individuals, um, churches, and then we do a scholarship drive. So every year around the April, May timeframe, we're donating uh, anywhere between eight to ten thousand dollars in, in scholarships for students on Staten Island. And wow. over the years, we probably have given away three hundred thousand plus in scholarship money. I oh, this. that's outstanding. It is. Oh, I love hearing that. You know, every family could use some extra and, you know, those scholarships and, and, and to know that, you know, the pride with your heritage. I think that's one of the best things we have in the Northeast. Like everyone yes. or not everyone, but many of us are so tapped into our heritage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously there's a big contingent of Staten Islands, of Italians on Staten Island. So it's, it's very important. And we think it's very important to pass down what mm -hmm. our parents have taught us to our the next generation. So we're really trying to also, besides the charitable stuff, we're trying to do more cultural things as far as um, this this past fall, we did a tomato sauce making event. I <laughs> oh, love it. Yeah, so we, we, we're trying to keep the culture rich and alive within the community because we feel it's really important for that not to go away. I will, yeah, and did you call it gravy or yeah, sauce? Yeah, I was just going to ask. It, settle it for us. Is it gravy or <laughs> sauce? Let's let's not get into an argument. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I call it gravy. I know a lot of people call it sauce. I call it gravy. I, my whole thing is if you have meat in a sauce, to me, it's a gravy. Yes, okay. So it's the meat that makes a difference. That's thank you. Okay. I, uh, and I have to confess, confess, I am of Irish descent. <laughs> um, so maybe my vote really doesn't count, it but, does. but, it but, does. but I am the first generation off the farm. My grandfather was a tomato farmer. My cousins still farmers, everything like that. Grew tomatoes for Campbell's. <clears throat> we, I make sauce and I don't always put meat in it. So it's sauce for me. Tell, tell me what's oh, the backstory. Okay. <laughs> what's the backstory? But I'll tell you, my grandmother learned how to make sauce from her Italian neighbors. So <laughs> their parish was Irish and Italian. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's the backstory? What was the um, inspiration for the organization? Well, I think it was just, like I said, these group of individuals back in 1950 just really wanted to keep the um, culture alive. And they wanted, at some point, they wanted to make it a charitable of, uh, organization. Mm -hmm. And so we've always kept that as long as I've been in the club, which is going back to 2012, uh, we've always kept that, uh, those, 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 those things important in the forefront of what, everything that we do. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're always looking for individuals who want to participate. I mean, we, we we're open to all, it's a male club, so we have to be a male to be part of the club, but, um, any male on, uh, that wants to participate, you know, can, can contact us and, and participate with, with our events and our events are open to everyone. But as far as membership to the club, it's, it's, um, it, it's males only. And we'll, and we'll tell everybody how they can be a part of it. But first, can you tell us some of the recent events that you've been a part of? Sure. Uh, most like most recent event was our food drive. Okay. Um, before that, uh, we've had a, um, a candidates night. So every every year we have we ask the local candidates around the, the, the island to come and or around New York, really, to come and give their platform to our ah. members. So we, we, it's always a fun and exciting night, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, we, and then we do scholarships, as I mentioned. And, um, and then we try to institute things like um, a Mardi Gras event mm. or just, you know, having uh, cigars and steaks, so we try, to <laughs> nice. keep it, try to keep it fun and, and, and um, entertaining. You know, that sounds like a lot of fun. What do you have coming up? What's up in the pipeline? Well, you know, next month is uh, February. So we are planning a, um, a uh, 
it's not not Italian, but we're doing a platforma like a hodizio for for Mardi Gras. We're going to go out to the city, have our uh, members and their spouses or significant others come with us. So it just it, we're just trying to really keep the camaraderie and the community within the club. Nice. And so many people watching right now want to know how they can get involved. So what do they need to do to find out more? Oh, we have a website. You can come. You can go to um, IC. O-S-I-F, that's Italian Club of Staten Island Foundation.org. So you can definitely find out how to, our events and how to contact us from there. Great. And then, of course, we have all our social, you know, Instagram and uh, Facebook. We'll all make sure to follow and we'll have all our viewers follow as well. Thank you so much, Thanks so much, Michael. Thank Thank you.